Hello, my name is John Nord, and I'm going to show a little video today on uh, how to transfer designs to uh, silver. And uh, this is uh, something that's uh, kind of had a mystery around it. I've tried several different methods and uh, all different kinds of solutions, and uh, I finally came across this method, uh, and uh, it seems to be the best that I've used and uh, uh, you can get some fine detail transferred with this method so we're going to try it and about nine times out of the ten it works sometimes I mess it up but we'll try and see how it goes so uh, first what we want to do a 18 gauge uh, sterling silver I've cut out into a design this is going to be a, a logo and uh, it has a lot of fine details on it that I'm going to have to engrave so I need some real uh, good lines and uh, details on how to do that uh, be engraving it under my microscope this is the uh, detail I'm supposed to uh, put on this piece of silver you can kind of see the way it's supposed to be, hopefully. Okay, this image here I did on my computer. The man sent me a uh, photograph of his logo. I transferred it into the computer and I converted it into a drawing. This is the normal uh, orientation. This is the mirrored orientation. It's opposite. This is normal. This will be mirrored. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use to put the design on this piece of silver. So I'm going to take some scissors and cut this out right along the outer lines. Okay, I have the design cut out. Okay, this is uh, my transfer solution. And I will put this in the uh, description below uh, to the video. So you can see this clear more clearly. But uh, these are the ingredients. Uh, two and a half ounces of Damar varnish. That's this here. And you can get this at your hobby stores or your paint stores. And it's made by Windsor & Newton. Uh, I'm sure there's other Damar varnishes. Uh, Ron, Ronsonol lighter fuel, which is this here, and I buy it in this 8 ounce container. And you take those two ingredients, you take you an airtight container like a jar, mason jar, something that, that you can close it up airtight, and I mix it uh, nine parts of the fuel to uh, one part of the varnish and this equals out to about eight teaspoons of fuel to ever two teaspoons of Damar varnish and that'll be the transfer solution so I've done that here in my jar and it lasts a long time as long as you keep it tightened up I've had this mixed up for about a year. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our silver piece and I've already put my um, maker's mark on the back. I 
take some uh, alcohol. This is 91%. You can use 75 too. And I clean this silver off. Then we'll let that dry a minute. Yeah, these lids stick. Uh, the varnish is kind of gluey. Anyway, I'm going to take me a, a brush here and uh, I'm going to paint the side that we want the design to be stuck on with this uh, Dumar varnish and the solution, the transfer solution. You don't want it puddling up on there, you just want a good coating. Like that. And then you're going to wait a minute. And you're going to let this get tacky. And you, the way you know it's ready is you put your finger on a part of it. I'm putting it out here because I don't, I don't have a design there. And if you're, you see your fingerprint and your fingerprint doesn't run, it's ready. It needs to be just a little tacky. And then you take your design and you, you line the shape up. And you stick it right in place on top of that varnish. Okay, now we've got it stuck and we burnish it. I just use a marker. Okay. We've got it burnished on there. Now we take just some regular nail polish remover. You don't want the extra strength. It's too strong. But just get some regular nail polish remover. The cheap stuff. You take that. You take your cotton ball. You put a little on there. And you want to squeeze it out a little bit. You don't want it real saturated. And you dab this until you can see the design through it. You can see the design through there, how I've dabbed it there. You don't want to get it real wet.
Now I'm going to burnish it again with this. You want to rub real hard because it might tear the paper at this point. Okay. Okay, for the next step, we take some water and a sponge. And we're going to just uh, wet this design down. And then you start rubbing it with your fingers until it rolls off. See, I just I wet wet the paper, then I just start rubbing it with my fingers, and then the design is left. The paper's gone, the design's left on there. Now I've got a little bit of misalignment here on the fingers. These are supposed to be hands on a fretboard, and because I uh, mirrored it, these fingers. Are not sitting in the right place but anyway I can fix that by redrawing that but the fretboard is all on there that's what I wanted in detail because those lines are real fine and uh, the uh, the lines and the dots and everything is what I really needed the fingers I can just follow uh, the way they're coming in and redraw that part now I hope you can see this And you can see how I misaligned the fingers because of the mirrored part, but I can fix that by redrawing that. Those, the guitar lines and the fretboard lines and all that, that's what I really wanted. And I'll post a picture of it uh, up close so you can see how fine the details are on this. Okay, uh, as I was saying, I haven't found any other transfer method that works as good as this method. Uh, I've transferred designs from animals and fish to knives, uh, silver, and uh, did the Bellino type stuff. Uh, I'm not very good at Bellino, but it, it helped me uh, uh, greatly to have the uh, design in fine detail and this worked fantastic and uh, I know you can't see this very well because of the shiny silver I will post a picture here in a minute and you can see how the little tiny lines the little fretboard lines the little dots are all on there uh, it didn't skip anything uh, as far as detail but if you're putting on scrolls or anything like that on a uh, buckle or uh, spurs whatever you know you can transfer this uh, the same method uh, and it's real simple real quick you mirror your design you you clean the the object with alcohol you uh, paint the uh, transfer solution on there you let it get uh, tacky you uh, stick your design on there and mirror the effect you burnish it then you uh, um, take the uh, fingernail polish remover you lightly wet it till you can see the design through the paper and you burnish it again and then you take your water sponge and you dampen the design and then you take your fingers and you start just rolling that paper off of there 
because it's wet it just crumbles off and once you get it off the designs left in perfect detail uh, it rarely doesn't work uh, uh, like I said nine times out of ten and that time it didn't work is because I didn't clean the the object well enough or didn't get the right amount of varnish on it or something like that so try this out I want to say one more thing uh, I'm not real uh, quick on making videos I, I try to make them as often as I can if you're a subscriber or uh, well first of all if you're not a subscriber please subscribe you'll learn a lot from my channel I strive to show people uh, how to do things in the simplest forms and the least expensive forms but uh, the, the forms that get it done uh, that you can do your work and I just want to help people, um, uh, jewelers and people that want to make jewelry, do it without a, uh, a lot of expense. So I try to find the simplest methods. But if you're a subscriber and you've been waiting on videos, I'm sorry I haven't got one out in a while. But if you'll stick with me, I'll put some on there and I'll go through a lot of different things. I'm fixing to shut down for a while. I'm switching my shop to a whole new shop. It's going to take me a while to move. But once I get um, into my new shop, I will uh, show everybody what what I've got, uh, the new shop, and, and everything I've put into it. Uh, Going to have a lot of different uh, tables and things like that to where I can work a little better and a little easier. I love this little shop, but it's, it's getting kind of small for me. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and I hope this will help you. And, and remember... I'm putting in the description below uh, the recipe for the transfer solution and the ingredients. Take care.